what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. This is the very first video in our versus mode series. So this series continues like uh, one technology versus another technology and we are going to discuss about the each technology's pros and cons and each uh, so at the conclusion you come to know about which one is your choice of picking. So the f as for the first video, uh, first Debate. I mean, the first uh, competition is between Java versus C Sharp. So, as usual, I'm Raja Raman, full stack .NET developer at Iking Soft Solutions. Uh, first of all, we talk about Java. As usual, Java is a monster. Seriously, Java is a monster. It is a giant in any platform. Uh, initially, Java is created using uh, created for the purpose of multiple platform, multiple which means an independent platform where it can learn run on Windows, Linux, Mac, etc., etc. So Java is a good language, programming language, and then it became a monster. Uh, the community grows and it is used as open source and a lot of developers, a lot of job seekings and a lot of job vacancies um, all the good stuff uh, grown in Java so now Java is a mature uh, programming languages which is uh, rocking the world about 20, more than 20 years, a decade so Java in mobile development. When you when when it comes to mobile development on Java, first thing which comes to our mind is Android, because Google is running Android. They are created a lot of core features, uh, core stuffs for Android using Java, and also the SDK, software development kit for developers, is built using Java. So Java is the native. Uh, platform for Android. The second Java and web development. When it comes to web development there are a lot of frameworks and technologies in Java but most of the popular technologies are Hibernate which is a persistent framework, data persistent framework and then Spring which is an MVC enterprise level application framework and Struts is an uh, MVC web application framework and Play which is uh, MVC framework, also an asynchronous kind of framework where you can use the framework as a, just like a Node.js kind of stuff, which is uh, used for streaming or asynchronous uh, real time web applications, to be more specific. Java and this development. In the past, we used AWG and Swing for developing our desktop application, which means a GUI-based application. But now, uh, people are migrated to JavaFX, which is really cool and awesome, uh, where we can use CSS uh, to make our styling even better and easier. So that's there are there are a lot of good features in JavaFX if you are. Uh, beginner in desktop application development on Java, I would suggest you to go ahead and learn Java FX. So Java in data world, yes, then no one can beat Java when it comes to data, data processing, data analytics, data um, storing, retrieving kind of stuff, which means the big data stuff. So Java really rocks in big data in the the technologies like Hadoop, Cassandra, Oracle Big Data and Hedgebase. So this is my opinion about Java. These are all the technologies that we are using in Java. Um, and then we are going to see about C Sharp and after the uh, technologies and the pros and cons that we have talked then we come to the conclusion which one is best. So yes, C sharp rules in 2017 
after the release of .NET Core framework, uh, there are a lot of cool and good things. Uh, in, uh, good things arise for the developers and a lot of. Uh, uh, the one of the major good thing is C Sharp and .NET framework become open source and multi-platform uh, oriented like Java. So C Sharp in mobile development world. Uh, when it comes to mobile development in Java, uh, in Android, I mean in Android, uh, we use programming language like Java. When it comes to Swift, sorry, and when it comes to Apple iOS, we use Swift or Objective C. But when it comes to Windows Phone, we have a suggestion. Uh, we the native development is C sharp or VB. But now Xamarin not now, Xamarin plays a major role on creating native application in all the platforms. We can use shared, shared C sharp backend code and shared UI code uh, using C sharp for multiple OS, multiple platforms. Xamarin, though uh, Xamarin is uh, Microsoft bought Xamarin, so we can use that in Visual Studio itself. We don't we need not to use the Xamarin IDE. We can make use of it in Visual Studio, which is a uh, insane integrated development environment. And C sharp in web development. So after the release of ASP.NET 4.6 and ASP.NET Core 1.0, the path of uh, ASP.NET developers is separated. Like ASP.NET 4.6, which runs on .NET framework, uh, which which runs on Windows platform, which runs really cool in Windows platform. If you are a really a Windows a fan, Windows development fan. You can use .NET Framework 4.6. If you are a multiple, multi, multiple OS, multi-platform uh, people developer, like uh, when you come from Java, you the first thing that you admire in Java is multiple platform. So those you guys, for those you guys, uh, .NET Core is your only weapon to choose in ASP.NET I mean in .NET so that's it uh, both are insanely cool and really speed and really fits in enterprise level application and also all types of applications when it comes to C Sharp in desktop development there are a lot of areas that we can focus like we can create a desktop application using Windows Forms, we can also create desktop application using Windows Presentation Forms and Windows Store applications. And now, after the release of Windows 10, we can create our application using Universal Windows application, which means if we we can create an application which is responsive and compatible for all types of Windows devices like mobile, desktop, laptop kind of stuff. C Sharp in data world. Uh, C Sharp is very equivalent to Java when it comes to data world because they are also using Hadoop, they are also using Apache Storm and they are also using the big giant Microsoft SQL Server. So, when it comes to Azure, Azure is a cloud service with C Sharp, there are a lot of cool stuff. We can do anything that we want using C Sharp. I mean, using, a, we can do anything that we want in the data world. So, if we wanted to use the data sources, we can use um, data streaming like Apache Strom spark kind of stuff so we can also do some iot based applications instead of things based application machine learning storage oltp 
and uh, batch processing and analytics and uh, data visualization which means the presentation we can do anything that we want in Azure cloud platform so that's it both Java and C sharp is really really great there is no doubt which one is uh, bigger uh, there's no competition I mean uh, both ties in when it comes to competition because both has a lot of pros both has a lot of pros uh, I mean uh, both has a lot of cons uh, cons so the advantages and disadvantages are very equal in both the technologies but when to choose when it comes to the question what do I choose and when do I choose so I'll just first I'll I like to talk about Java in Java the job vacancies and the community and the developer community is really really big so if you are currently looking for a job in Java I mean uh, looking for a job there are a lot of job vacancies for Android developers in Java and also big data uh, big data technology developers in Java so when it comes to job vacancies um, obviously Java wins and also when it comes to enterprise level application Java really works well so but one thing the C sharp is uh, competing and C sharp is trying to uh, defeat Java at right now at at this moment is C sharp is becoming multi-platform that is one of the biggest advantage uh, for all the dotnet I mean the Windows C sharp developers though it is becoming a multi-platform supported language the community also grow the community also rise like uh, as equal to Java even though there is a huge community in C sharp the hype will be really very high in 2017 C sharp uh, is good language actually when it compares to Java because uh, Java is a purely object oriented language but C sharp is the combination of C++ and Java so it has a lot of cool features in Java and also it has a lot of good features in C++ so that's the combo when it's when it's when it comes to uh, features language features and language uh, fluency I mean language uh, stuffs C sharp wins and also uh, the mobile development native application development in multiple platforms and Azure development in multiple platforms uh, C sharp wins but where the C sharp and .NET drops is in deployment not in uh, not it will lose its quality and performance uh, the cost it takes uh, at times three to five times higher cost when it comes to uh, Java. Uh, in Azure, you, you are charged uh, literally very more uh, that you cannot imagine, uh, but it only suits for the high end companies, not for all the people. But when it comes to Java, uh, the deployment kind of stuffs in AWS and Google Cloud Platform is not that much cost uh, so that's the only drawback that I can tell when it comes to the C sharp uh, it is really very costlier in the deployment side but Java is a little bit cheaper cheaper than that so this is for the people do who already learned a programming language uh, those who are trying to move on to another language like Java or C sharp 
this is only for the experienced developers or the people who are already familiar with another language this is not for beginners uh, if you are a beginner you just no, don't need to care about any of this shits you just only thing that you need to do is to go ahead and pick any language and learn the current concepts and then you can make these kind of analytics to get into so that's the whole point that's the video if you like the video please subscribe and I'm going to take the series like uh, this technology to that technology competition uh, if something I'd say wrong if something uh, some data uh, some analytics is wrong uh, please comment below or uh, if, if you get hated or if you get anger I'm sorry I can I cannot do about anything about that so thank you please subscribe and like the video and share